Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm finally sharing my April favorites. I feel like I don't have too much to share this month, but I definitely have some things that I have been loving oh so much. So if you'd like to see my top picks of the month, please keep watching. Okay, let's start with fragrance. The top scent for me this month is so surprising because I'm not a fan of the bottle, but the scent is everything. This is the Moschino Gold Rose Couture. Now I love this fragrance so much. I think I'm actually gonna wear it today. It is a fruity floral that's a little fresh. It has some peach in it, maybe some mango. It just smells like a fruit basket with vanilla and peaches and it's also a little fresh. This scent is so feminine. Uh, I didn't wanna try it for the longest time because of the bottle, but if you guys saw my most recent spring fragrance haul and shop with me vlog, I picked this up blindly and I'm so glad I did. This is one of those scents where if I never know what to wear, I'm gonna pull this out. And if you guys would like to see me do a video about my like effortlessly perfect fragrances, definitely let me know down below in the comments. I am actually interested in trying some other Moschino scents because this one was such a winner for me. Okay, let's go on to skincare. The first product I wanna talk about is a complete winner. This is the Mega Babe Anti Boob Sweat Powder Boob Dust. So I actually received this from the brand and I was really excited about it because I used to use a gold bond powder that was to just soak up any sweat that I get in my chest area. I have a larger bust, I work out every day. And if you have a larger bust and you work out and your skin, you have like skin on skin contact and you get sweaty, that can develop a rash and we don't want any rashes. So really staying cool and dry is of most importance to me, especially during this time of the year. So I tested this out and I really love it. It's a spray powder. It's not like a liquid form or anything like that, but you do spray it out of the container. I put it down my cleavage and I rub it in. It has a light scent of lavender, but it really helps keep me dry and I don't feel wet after a workout, especially if I'm just gonna go somewhere after working out, like that's the worst feeling. So if you are a larger woman or if you deal with a sweaty bust or any other area of your body, definitely check this out. I was pleasantly surprised just how much I liked it. And speaking of body care, the next product, well, and skincare, is my Necessaire Deodorant Gel in the scent Eucalyptus. So this is a natural deodorant gel with 5% AHAs, which are alpha hydroxy acids, so lactic acid. I was a little hesitant about this. Like I said, I'm a sweater, I'm a plus size woman, I live in the hot, humid South. And I also love to wear fragrance. So clearly I like smelling clean and fresh. So natural deodorant has always scared me because I don't wanna stink. And I hear so many, I hear positives, but I also hear so many negatives about being a heavy sweater and wearing a natural deodorant. This has been amazing. I have had an issue with the Mega Babe deodorant that I wore. I wore it once a few weeks back and I had odor under one of my arms. This has never done that for me, though I do feel like when I sweat, it starts to drip because it is like, it's like a liquidy gel. So I'm not the biggest fan of the consistency of it, but everything else about it, I love it. I have never experienced any odor with it. And for that alone, I love it. It is the eucalyptus scent. Uh, it dissipates quite quickly, so I'm not sure if I will repurchase the eucalyptus one next time. But I did receive this from the brand to try it out. I reviewed it on my Instagram, and so many of you beauties said you were gonna try it because it's so amazing, and I really do love it. Okay, speaking of my underarms, my next product is the First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pads. I started getting some ingrown hairs under my left arm. I believe it was the day after or the week after I used the necessary deodorant and I went out at night and it started dripping. I was really hot. I had on a strapless bra and a bodysuit and I just feel like that strapless bra was creating a lot of friction under my underarm. So that's one of the ways that I get ingrown hairs because I do wax my entire body, but friction and sweat that's the recipe for an ingrown hair. I broke out these pads and they worked perfectly. Now I will say this, they're a little expensive for what they are. I find that if you exfoliate all of your body pretty regularly, you shouldn't deal with too many ingrown hairs unless your hair or your pores are just more prone to developing such. But for those times when I do develop ingrown hairs, this is gonna be perfect. I used it twice and my underarms were smooth. So this is not something that I use all the time because just generally speaking, I will 
to exfoliate my underarms. But that was a special incident and I'm so glad I had these pads because they worked fabulously. You can use these on ingrown hairs wherever you have them on your body and two days, within two uses, it was gone. I love this product. Okay, keeping with body care, my next product. <laughs> I have such a love for it. This is the Way Body Cleanser in Melrose Place. Now this product is a little wet because I used it this morning in the shower, but I love this body cleanser so much. It smells like champagne, peony, white florals, peaches, white musk. It just smells like you need to be on the beach and have a sexy man fan you with a leaf while you sip champagne and eat grapes. This makes me feel like I'm at the spa in a tropical location. I love it so much. If this were unscented, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. Way has captured my heart. Now, one product that I've used that I'm not a fan of, Chill Pills. I used those in a bath probably two weeks ago and they were horrible. Now, I have a huge jacuzzi tub, so I'm not sure if I just needed to use more bath bombs, but for the price and how many it comes with, I think it comes with six. If I have to use two per bath, that's only three uses, and I'm not paying for something that doesn't work that well. So for me, it didn't work. It's a cute container, it's cute packaging, but it didn't really work for me, and yeah, won't be repurchasing those, but I will continue to use them. But the other stunner of the group is the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. Oh, how I love you. Now, I love this scrub so much. I've never used it in my scalp, and I don't think I will. I don't think it's made for people of color. That's just, that's just my opinion. Just my opinion. <laughs> I love the way this smells. This is also in the scent Melrose Place. It smells amazing. Now, I will say, this is not the best scrub in terms of really getting your skin silky smooth, but it creates such a lush lather. And I've never used an exfoliating scrub that lathers. So I really love this. It is a sugar scrub. I also purchased this during the Sephora sale. I love it. I will repurchase it again. It's not the best in terms of performance, but it feels nice. And I feel like as you get into luxury body care, sometimes you're captivated by the texture of things or the scent, like myself. So love, love this. Okay, the one skincare product for my face that I loved this month, the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. Now I also received this from the brand through Octoly. I received so many products through Octoly to review for brands. I reviewed it on my Instagram, I'll link it down below. This is like the most effective yet gentle facial peel I've ever used. It's exfoliation to the 10th degree, okay? I love it. Now it's interesting because when you're using the system, which is a two-step system, so it comes with two packets. The first step, it just feels like you're putting a solution on your skin on a very thick, cushiony pillow. It's not an abrasive pad, so you're like, mm, is it working? Then step two is another pad, and you're like, mm, what is this? Like, okay, it's great, maybe. But the next day, your face will feel renewed. Texture, pigmentation, fine lines, wrinkles, anything like that, luminosity, this is going to remove all the bad things and add the luminosity to your skin. I've never used a product this effective. I can't wait to see what it does to lighten my hyperpigmentation. I've always heard amazing things about it. It's not all hype, it's really great. When I posted my review on Instagram, Literally everyone said they loved it. That usually never happens. So this is a very effective peel. It's like going to your dermatologist or the spa and getting an actual peel. It is rather pricey, but I promise it's so effective. And I don't think this is something I would use every day. I would probably use it once or twice a week. And this comes with 30 treatments. It is perfection. Okay, on to makeup. The first item that I'm sharing is actually the lipstick that I'm wearing now. This is from the new Gwen Stefani makeup line and I did also buy this in the Sephora sale this month. The liquid lipstick in I think original red. I mean, baby, she is already like, <laughs> she's speaking for you. I know you were probably watching this video like, ooh, what lipstick is she wearing? Go into the description box, y'all. Gwen Stefani did her thing. I love a good red, and recently I've been loving blues and reds. This is such a good red. The one con I will say is that it does make my mouth dry. Like, I feel like as I'm talking, if I don't wet the inside of my mouth, my mouth is like sticking together. So it is extremely matte. 
it doesn't necessarily make my lips feel very dry but my mouth very very dry but i love it it's way better than the rare beauty liquid or matte cream that i tried this month i don't like that but this is so beautiful it's luxurious and the second makeup product that i also purchased during this for sale that i cannot find is the pat mcgrath blush in nude venus my girl all things k put me onto that it looks so pretty on brown skin in the pan i was like is that gonna work on us because it's a rather lighter blush with a little bit of luminosity in it but it looks so good on my skin tone i really really love that blush pat mcgrath blushes are so pigmented like they're made for brown skins I love them so much I'm so happy to have that in my arsenal okay my next favorite is fashion it is none other than my little YSL Kate I included this in a haul maybe a few months ago I'll link it down below this is a YSL Kate in the old small and it is in the croc embossed red snake skin with the tassel Oh, you all, I love this bag so much. I mean, how fun is she? I've been wearing her nine times out of 10 when I go out at night. I love that it's a smaller bag. It almost reminds me of a wallet on chain in terms of what can actually fit in it. This is the interior. I really, really love YSL. Like I would have to say they're becoming one of my favorite brands. You all know that I'm not really into trendier things and I don't know, the print on this kind of makes it trendy and or fun, but it's just such a fun piece, especially because I love wearing all black and this is such a cute pop of color. So I've been loving this, I have no complaints. It fits my plus size body frame. Uh, yeah, love the YSL Kate and I definitely want to get more pops of colors i'm trying not to add to my luxury collection too much but this bag is just adorable okay now i want to share two channels the first is the eve effect and shout out to eve she commented on one of my videos i believe it was my spring fragrance shop with me vlog and haul and i always tell you guys when you comment if your profile picture or your name looks like you have a channel i'm gonna go watch so i clicked on her channel and i immediately fell in love she's articulate she knows her stuff she's fabulous she loves similar scents that i love i love finding people's channels like that because I know that if they're recommending it, I can probably blind buy it. So if you love fragrance, definitely check out the Eve Effect. I've really been enjoying her channel and hopefully she's not going to encourage me to buy too many new fragrances, but if she does, it's okay. And the second channel is Olivia N. And I found her because I was searching for a particular popular bag that I may or may not have acquired for my birthday coming up. She had at least one video featuring this bag and I fell in love with her channel she's so sweet she's so knowledgeable she is like my kind of girl like she's fabulous she's funny you can tell that she's just very intelligent on her stuff but she loves to have a good time and she's so fashionable Olivia is just like fabulous so if you love fashion definitely go subscribe but especially for luxury she just has so many amazing luxury buys and she definitely influenced me on my most recent acquisition so definitely check those channels out I will leave their links down below so yeah guys those are all my favorites for this month I feel like I didn't have too too many because I was just using and loving what I had even though like most of these items are new so it was a good month I would say let me know what you guys are loving down below what do I need to add to my cart I am not above placing an order I love you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye